and I'm really excited to be here today with my really good friend, Jamie Esslinger. Jamie's a blogger, she's a marketing professional, she's an author, and she's the founder of ThePromiseDaily.com, which sends you inspiration and a daily kick in the pants. And I love everything she does. I love her site, and I love the daily emails I get from The Promise Daily. They're really cool. You get to put in your goals and how you would celebrate, and it reminds you every day, and I just highly recommend it. So, Jamie, thank you so much for being here. Oh, uh, thank you, Amy. It's awesome to be here. It's awesome to see you live. I this know. is really fun, and I just really appreciate you inviting me to be on your show. I'm excited you can be on it. Um, so, I think I'd love to start by asking you what inspired you to start The Promise Daily. Sure. So, <laughs> it actually came after a year-long journey that I took. I made a promise. It, actually, five years ago now. I cannot mm -hmm. believe it was wow. five years ago. So, five years ago, I made a promise not to shop for frivolous things for an entire year. So for 365 days, I would not shop for shoes or clothes or new things, which, believe me, for me, was, that was a really big um, promise to make and try to keep every single day. I bet. Yeah, it was, a, it was hard. It was actually <laughs> really difficult. Um, and it was difficult because I was absolutely addicted to shopping and not so much buying, like purchasing every single time I would purchase, but the thrill of shopping, the thrill of browsing and looking for deals and feeling the fabric and dreaming. It's, shopping is really sort of like um, a fantasy, dreamlike. It, um, I equate it to when I was a little girl and played Barbies and I would, you know, did you play Barbies? I didn't. I was like a total tomboy. I played Star Wars. Okay, so Star Wars. Maybe Star Wars <laughs> had this element too, <laughs> where you you know you dream about what you're creating for this right. this character's life, and yeah. um, and I and I figured this out after not shopping for 365 days. That shopping was really an outlet for me to uh, dream about my life and also cope with what was hard. It was an outlet for me to cope. Yeah. Yeah, so The wow. Promise Daily came out of that adventure, and mm -hmm. I really learned, um, through, and I can talk for hours about it because it was a year-long journey, but what I learned was that there's only two forces in this world, love and fear, and if you can live from love, which, you, you know, you're one of my, you're one of my guru teachers on that, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but if you can live from uh, the filter of love instead of the filter of fear, you can just have a much more, you know, bigger, expanded, wonderful experience, and that can translate to your goals and your promises and what you want to make happen in life. So the Promise Daily came out of that experience for me, and I wanted to help others make a promise for themselves and, and stay focused on their goal, whatever it was that they wanted to go after, and so the Promise Daily was born. I love it. I love it. And I mentioned the daily emails that I get from you through the Promise Daily. And I love that when I open it, it has like a fun quote and some little stuff. And then it says, my promise. It has my goal. Every day I look at it. Yeah. Okay, that's still where we're headed. Okay, that's where we're going. And it's really powerful. I mean, it's just such an amazing free service that you provide, plus all the inspiration and cool stuff you put in the blog. I, I just, I think it's really neat that that came out of this promise not to shop, and I know I see you as, and I, I would imagine you learned that you are just a force of commitment. Like, if you decide, I'm going to do this, you're going to do it. Absolutely, and what, the uh, kicker of that initial promise of the not shopping promise was I also promised to blog every single day of that year so that I would stay accountable because it's so easy to make a New Year's resolution and, yeah. and say, I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to get an awesome job and I'm going to yeah. never eat sugar again. Or, yeah. You know, like we make these big promises to ourselves and then we don't have any sort of accountability plan 
right. to, to stay the course. And it's right. so easy after day five or day 10 or day yes. 15 to give up. Yes. And so that's what the blog did for me in my initial journey. The blog kept me accountable. I had to write every day and I, and I put it out there publicly. So my friends and family, everybody on Facebook knew that I was doing, I made that promise, I made it public. And yeah. so I had to show up every day and write the blog and report about what I either didn't buy or that I, where I was, you know, pulled or um, lured into the feelings of wanting to go shopping. Right. Um, and it just helped so much to show up every single day to that blog and have accountability. And after that experience, it helped so much for me personally. I wanted to give that to others because it's, yeah. it's hard to write a blog every single day. I get it. Like, not everybody's going to write a blog every single day. But amazing. I wanted... Yeah, I wanted to at least give others the opportunity to be reminded every day yeah. that they did make a promise. Yeah. And you've been doing that, blogging every day for five years now, right? Five freaking years. Wow. <laughs> I That's know. That's like, as a writer, that is like, wow, you, you're climbing Mount Everest and <laughs> doing it successfully, and I'm impressed. I mean, Wow. Yeah, at and the then, end of every year, December 30th, December 31st, I have these moments of like, am I going to do this again? Am I going to re-up? <laughs> am I going to make another promise? No, but you And do. I keep doing it. I know. <laughs> this year, I was surprised. I thought, I wonder if she's going to do a fifth year. This is a long time. This would be a time where you could, you could step back. I know. But you oh, and like, again. it's not like, it's not like it's been an easy five years. I mean, we've moved... Across the country, I I've had I've had three surgeries I know. over this time period, and I've blogged every single day through all of that. I mean, Amazing. I blogged through um, being locked out of our vacation villa in Mexico oh one night. I you know found a way to borrow a computer to to post oh the blog. Gosh. I blogged through. We were living on Martha's Vineyard, and um, we had this. It was a hurricane, like yeah. barreling up the East Coast, and it was literally pointed at Martha's Vineyard and we lost power and I figured out a way to blog on my phone. I mean, you know, just like when Amazing. you make a commitment and Amazing. you stick to it, you figure it out. And I would wonder now for you in five years of that, you really know you can accomplish that. Has that brought you like a new sense of confidence because of that accomplishment, do you, do you think? That's a great question, Amy. Yeah. I think so. I haven't thought about it in those terms of confidence, but I think you're right. I think that when you show up yeah. and do something, even when it's hard or you're unsure of, you know, like from the blog perspective, right. is, does anybody care? Is anybody going to read this? Does it matter? It's not, it, that's not what matters. I know a lot of bloggers out in the blogosphere <laughs> talk a lot about, you know, how many fans and followers and mm -hmm. how many opens and how many readers and how many retweets. And for me, the blog, the blog I do is not about that. And it's, it's hard sometimes not to get caught up in that. Yeah. But for me, it's a way to show up every yeah. single day and to show up for others. That's what the Promise Daily is about. Yeah. It's about showing up for others and reminding them, like, look, you made this promise because you really wanted something. Here's just a little nudge that yeah. you want this. Um, and sometimes it's a kick in the pants, like, yeah. wake up, you want this. Like, what are you going to yeah. do about it? Um, and I think that that builds confidence. Back, to your, back yeah. to your point, that builds confidence to show up. Even if you don't see the results, yeah. even if you're not tracking your progress of, like, you know, okay, where am I? Just mm -hmm. being reminded that it was a promise that came from your heart. Just being reminded of who you are and what you want, I think it does build confidence for the reader and it certainly builds confidence for me to know that I can do this. I can, yeah. I've done it. I can do it. And so when I hit hard things, yep. it's like, yeah, I've got this whole little, uh, you know, nugget of success that I can point back to, even if it's just silly success of blogging every day. But it's huge. And I mean, it's one of the many things it is, is this incredible writing portfolio. You know, I mean, content creation is, it takes your heart, your soul, you know, you have to care about it. And for you to care every day for five years is 
major. Yeah, it feels yeah. major. It's, it feels, uh, it's hard to believe it's been five years, first of all. I know. Um, but I will say that uh, going back to the major lesson I've learned through all of this is love. That's, how, that's what I've learned through all of it. And I will say that when I write from my heart, that's when I get the most replies from people mm-hmm. or even yeah. calls from people or notes from people that say, you know what, that really touched me. Mm-hmm. And I think that the more we can live from our heart and share from our heart, you know, the more, and I know you, I know this is what you stand for, so, you, so this is all uh, what you already practice sure. and teach. Um, but I think the more we can live from our heart and show up from our heart, the more we impact others, and then the more that reflects back to us. I agree. And, you know, you're somebody who I think of as a really beautiful example of living from the heart. Whether I, whether I hear you when you're doing a teleseminar, you know, or just when we talk or when I read your posts or anything, I mean, you're, you are just a pillar of that. And I think it shows in what you share. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, you know, it's been, um, it's not always easy Mm -hmm. to live from the heart because I think we put up barriers to protect ourselves. And believe me, I've had the life experiences to put up barriers, whether it's, Mm -hmm. You know, going through a three-time cancer survivor at this yeah. point in time. Yeah. Um, I, I lost my mother to cancer when I was very young, and I've been through a really significant divorce. I mean, I've had these major, hard life moments that I have put up barriers and not lived from my heart out of just trying to protect myself from sure. what was really hard. Yeah. And I think that the more I can tap into the, my heart. That's been the lesson for me to, mm-hmm. to really tap into my heart so that those barriers melt. Yeah. And it's a process. I'm still doing it, but it's a, pro- it's a process. Um, but it makes it's made the experience so uh, much more deeper and fuller for me when whenever I can tap into my heart. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah. I love that heart-centered living. Um, so I'm going to ask you one more fun question. I like warm and fuzzy fun questions if you know I since you're a personal friend you know a little bit I sort of have the taste of a preteen girl in some ways um (laughs) yes you do but I love that about you (laughs) I really do um but so my question for you is what brings you the greatest joy so far you know it's so funny I think it's funny that this is my answer, and then, of course, it's so obvious. I have two dogs in my life. I call my dogs. <laughs> they bring me so much joy. Even when they, just watching the funny things they do, they crack me up. And they, I mean, they just have, they just have their own personalities, and they have all these antics of just the funny, it's just, it brings me so much joy. I love it. I love it. That's exciting. And I love, um, in, on Jamie's blog, you know, and in the emails, sometimes you share pic- pictures of Pop and Brady, the dog. Yeah. So we feel like we know them. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're like characters. And they're like jumping out windows. Or uh, what a, Didn't one of them jump through a screen or do something crazy like that? Yes, Brady <laughs> jumped through. The, we were outside with our 14-year-old. Pop, Pop's his name, but he's the 14-year-old. Oh, he's the older one. Okay. Yeah, and we were we were trying to give him some hands-on attention because the puppy, who's named Brady, gets a lot of attention. And we were trying to take Pop's photo, and we were just trying to, you know, give him some special hands-on attention. And so we put Brady inside the house, and he didn't like that. He wanted to be out with his people. And um, he literally jumped through the screen window. Oh! Flies the screen oh and right behind it out flies Brady the puppy, <laughs> <laughs> and he hits the ground running like no big deal. <laughs> Here I am. Plan. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, those awesome. are the antics that I just you know you just never know what they're gonna do. They're just That's they're awesome. <laughs> so hilarious. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Um, so let's. Let's also share with our viewers where they can find you, how they can get your emails, how they can read your blog. 
So the best way uh, to find the Promise Daily is go to thepromisedaily.com, and that's where you can just sign up and make a promise. And you know what? If you don't want to make a promise, you don't have to, you, but just sign up, and you can get the emails to get a sense of what's there. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want some accountability and you want somebody to show up for you every day and remind you that you've made a promise, go ahead and fill out whatever your goal is, yeah. whatever it is that you want to accomplish. So the Promise Daily dot com and then you can find me on Twitter at, at Jamie Esslinger. That's where I am on Twitter Yay. and um, Facebook. So those are the best places to find me. Yay. And it's um, the the word the like T H E Promise Daily dot com. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I always love to talk to you, of course. You too. Thanks yeah. for the invite. It's so good to see you. We I used know. to live at the same town, and so, like, to actually see you is pretty fun. I know. It's very neat. Um, so, thank you all for watching. And uh, from me, Amelia Mary Cree, and Jamie Esslinger, remember to live joy, be kind, and love unconditionally today and every day. Ooh.